swamp tomorrow night. The 33-year-old says the Crocs can slay the Dragons despite coming off three straight defeats. His left knee strapped but back on court. If only for a light session, Crocs import Roselle Ellis isn't concerned. I hyperextended it the last game, so just to pre precaution, I went to the physio this week to make sure it's ready for the game tomorrow. Ellis has had a restricted training regime so far this week, along with Russell Hinder, who's suffering back soreness. Coach Trevor Gleeson says neither are in any doubt for the Dragons. Our workload has been pretty high in the last couple of weeks, so we just want to take care and make sure they're ready for tomorrow night. This injury's not really that bad, but just to be on top of it because it's coming down the stretch of the, the basketball season, so I want to be ready 100%, so I've got to take precaution. Injuries aren't the Crocs' only worries at present. Three straight losses on the road see them precariously placed in sixth spot, and after a mediocre opening half against Perth, being ready to play right from tip-off is a lesson well learned. If we come out pretty fast, then we're all right. You know? We always let a team get ahead of us, and then we have to play catch-up. But when we come out strong and aggressive from the start, um, we always finish pretty good. What well, we watched tape yesterday on Perth, it was uh, not areas that we can't fix, which is uh, pleasing. So uh, we have to get back and do the, the little things that help the team out. The Crocs slayed the Dragons by three points in round one and got within four points less than two weeks ago. We could take them down. We've done it before, so, you know, we have that confidence and then we're playing at home with the crowd behind us, so we're looking forward to taking them down again. Rebecca Barr, Win News.